Hey, Nate here, and in this video, I'm going to go over the 3CX web client. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate over to your email, and you should have or should have received a Welcome to 3CX email. If you haven't, you're going to want to get with the company that's providing the support, your system administrator, and they should be able to access the, the, the 3CX to um, get that sent out to you. Okay? The welcome email actually comes from the system itself. So keep that in mind, okay? So again, in this video, I wanna go over the web client in particular, um, but just kinda of give you a little overview of this email uh, and what's in it. You can click the link here, and that's gonna take you to a 3CX website that's gonna be able to uh, give you guidance or a reference guide. Um, coming down here, it's gonna show your extension number, it's gonna show your voicemail pin number, so if you access your voicemail and it acts and it asks for a pin, uh, you're gonna have that here. Okay, and then just a dial code in order to access your voicemail. Um, usually if you have a desktop phone or there's a button or whatever to, to access that. But if you don't have that and you need to dial the code, that's the code. So um, it could be different depending on your system, so keep that in mind. Don't just go off of what you're seeing on my screen here. Each system and each individual is going to have their own uh, pins and such. All right, going down to section two, you're going to have a URL here. If you click it, um, it's going to direct you right to the URL where you're going to be able to log in using these two credentials here, username and password. Um, but keep in mind, if this opens up in like Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, it's not going to work. You're going to want to copy and paste this into Chrome or Firefox. So keep that in mind. Also included in this email is a QR code that if you um, download the Windows, or not Windows, but iOS or Android app, you can um, click on the QR code, scan it, and it will auto configure your smartphone uh, app to utilize your extension uh, via the QR code. And then also attached is a, uh, a user guide, a get started guide, okay? So um, once you've clicked on this or copied and pasted into the Chrome or Firefox, you're going to get to, and you log in, you're going to have a login screen, and you log in, you're going to get to a screen that looks similar to this. It could have more extensions or users shown here. It could literally look like this. Um, but we're going to keep it uh, slim down here for the sake of this video and uh, go over what is um, and how to make and receive calls and such. Okay, so starting at the top where it says enter name or number, I can enter a name that's going to bring up someone within my organization, possibly someone within the phone book, or what have you. Okay, so I can actually type in, uh, you know, an actual phone number, make the call, it's ringing. Actually, I have a headset, that's why you can't hear it ringing here. But now you can hear it ringing on my cell phone, I can answer it. I can transfer the call to another person in our organization, or I can transfer it to a cell phone, whatever the case may be. You type it in here, and then you hit enter, and then it transfers the call. I would recommend playing around with this, kind of learning the behavior of how the calls are answered, transferred, held, and what have you uh, before kind of going live or actually taking on call volume, um, just to get more familiar with it if it's new to you if it's new to you okay so i'm going to end this call but oh let's just kind of go over here an auto uh, so you can transfer that'd be a blind transfer meaning uh you're going to send the call it's going to um, after you type in the extension number and hit enter it's just going to send it and then intended transfer means um after you enter the extension number and hit enter it's actually going to ring the party they're going to answer and then you can talk and say hey so and so is on the call as soon as you hit enter, it's gonna hang you up and then it's gonna transfer the call. So that's called an attended transfer. You can create a conference. If I wanted to conference in another participant, I can uh, type in the number, hit enter, it's gonna ring that person and then I can merge the calls together. So keep that in mind. You got mute, you have hold, you have a keypad here, okay? Um, hide the keypad and then you can create a you can uh, go video if that capability is both with you and the other person okay so that's making and receiving calls using the web client now as you can see right here there's a little drop down 
and my web client is selected. That means that whatever I use here is going to coordinate with this device or this web client. If I were to select this and I make and I type in a, a name or number here, it's actually going to go out on this device. Okay? Or if a call comes in, it's going to it's going to have a pop up here. I'm going to be able to answer it, but it's actually going to answer it on this device. You can also do that with your smartphone if you have that uh, uh, set up. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's making and receiving calls. Um, I can also call this user just by simply selecting these different buttons. I can chat with them. I can create a web meeting. I can make them. I can add them to a favorite. So now they'd show up here. Okay. Um, you can bring this drop down and then you have these different options here as well. Okay, so play around with it, get familiar with it, uh, use it as a tool that's going to help your organization. It's, um, we use it every day. Uh, we find it very, very helpful and so have other um, people that we, that we sell or that, we, uh, that are our customers. Um, Right here, you have your voicemail. So if you have any voicemails, they're going to be listed here. And then over here on the right-hand side, you can download, play, uh, play on your phone. Um, you can call the person, you can delete it, or you can add them to your contacts. Okay. And then here's your call history. Okay. So going down, you can actually schedule conferences. We'll have a different video on that. You can um, do web meeting, you can do switchboard, that's gonna show anybody that's on a call. If you have any call recordings, you're gonna be able to see and uh, play them there. And then you have your different settings that you can um, select. Okay, so I'm gonna, this will be your default device or you can switch it here. Uh, and then you can fill in these types of settings here. Here's your call forwarding. So, one thing I did not talk about, but I will real quick, is you have these different statuses that you can set. Now, depending on what it's set to, is kind of how your phone's going to behave if someone calls it. So if I'm away, it's going to go right to voicemail. Okay, I can actually change that to do something different, or my do not disturb. I can have my do not disturb do something different if I want it to. Okay, or lunch. You have all these different settings that you can change here that will reflect on what it's actually going to do here within the settings. So settings and then uh, call forwarding. And then you can select which call, which uh, status that you want to set. Here's where you can stand your QR code again. And if you want to add some buttons, you can do that here as well. Okay. So um, I hope you found this beneficial. Again, we'll come up with more videos that reflect on scheduling conferences and web meetings. Okay.